Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now today we're reacting to another double clip episode of would i lie to you and the two clips we are reacting to today we have bob mortimer something about a didgeridoo and we also have brian blessed's canoe that rhymes that was pretty cool but yeah we are reacting to those two clips today the reason why we're sort of skipping down the list a bit to the bob mortimer one is because i the first one is quite short and so is that one so just two short ones put it together makes the video a bit more entertaining for you guys and the one after this we will continue of the normal going through the list but no guys i hope you are enjoying these would i lie to you clips and if you have any more you want to recommend to me let me know in the comment section and guys without further ado let's get into the reaction and here we go i have guys. a didgeridoo suspended from a tree in my back garden so that when the wind blows in a particular direction it pops soothing sounds of the outback into my bedroom window okay okay <laughs> that's a cool invention soothing sounds of the outback yes what a what a poetic way of putting it <laughs> um, do you genuinely believe that that particular instrument makes a pop <laughs> How oh, would you describe it, Greg? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and how soothed do you feel? Greg, will stop popping. <laughs> I get this every night in my house, please. <laughs> Where is it, Bob? It's in a tree. Yeah. And you oh, made a conscious decision to put it in the tree. Yeah. I thought you said it was hanging, hanging from, from a tree. tree. What it is, is it's trapped in a, a V. I was like, is there a name for that area of a tree? Is it called the Clooney it's, or something? It's, it's called it's Clooney. It's Clooney. <laughs> 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 also not to leave George Clooney's holding a didgeridoo of a tree. <laughs> I don't even believe this. <laughs> this part of your that finger... That would be a crazy there, situation. called the Clooney. Is it? So I'm I get what you mean. Like, never knew that's where why it goes. Yeah. Right. Clooney. Where, where, where it, and it's wedged there. It's wedged in the tree's V. Yes. <laughs> it's wedged, wedged horizontally in the tree's V, facing mm -hmm. southeast, which is the prevailing wind where I live. Where do you live? Not Britain. Britain. No, well, the prevailing wind in Britain is southwesterly. It doesn't happen every night. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what this sound does for you then. You're lying in bed at night and. You, you had a lovely day, you're just mm -hmm. settling down. Are you here? And then what, what, sort of, what, what happens to you? I'm soothed. Yeah. I, the mind is soothed. Do you know you get things that do, will do the same thing to, say, your throat? Yes. That does it to the mind. What if your brain's fine? You don't want to hear that every time it's windy. You're always soothing your brain, that's what sleep is. Don't hence that, hence the success of the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say, though, Bob, I've been led to believe by uh, out-of-work hippies mm. over the years that the didgeridoo is an incredibly difficult instrument to play, yeah. and yet it would appear that all one has to do is to pass air through it. <laughs> no, well, you have to position it correctly, just as you would have to over your mouth. I've done that by utilising the Clooney. Uh, the OK. Well, yeah, me, but for example, tree as human lips. <laughs> Even to any kind of noise that I did redo, the Clooney, which doesn't exist, on <laughs> Bob's tree, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it would have to be flashlight, because uh, uh, the Aboriginal yeah, doesn't just go... Because <gasps> <laughs> it's not just wind, they use their lips. Yeah. Very good point. Very good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just coming up this time of year, I admit it's a lot better in fact, it, it, I have a wisteria that grows through the digital... And when the wisteria comes into leaf, yeah. not yes. only does it pipe yeah. the wind towards yeah. the didgeridoo, but it acts as the lips. Understood, it's OK. Been said that if the wind blows in the right direction through wisteria, it can play any instrument. <laughs> <laughs> David. <laughs> okay, we need to make a guess. What do you right. say? Um, what do we think, guys? I mean, if there's anyone who can tell a lie, well, it is Bob Mortimer. This one, just off the bat, I think is just a little bit too far fetched. I mean, I can believe that that like a didgeridoo, if it is playing soothing sounds, it could put you to sleep because it's the same as whale noises. I do believe that you can put it in between like the Clooney of the tree. And the wisteria could add some sort of distortion effect, but but like Greg said, I like just blowing wind through it. If there's nothing there, surely it will just like play the same one note. And because you'd have to cover it to play it again, so it would just be like, mm, I don't know, guys. I think I, I have a feeling this one is a lie, 
But as per usual, he's told it incredibly. And if it was anyone else, I'd think it was a lie straight away. But with him, I had to think about it. But I think this one's a lie, guys. Let's see what it is. I think it's a lie. Of course it's a lie. We think it's a lie. <laughs> I think it's a lie. Well, uh, Bob, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? I was lying. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That one was just, was just a little bit too difficult. But no. Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely something that I want to try. I, I just get my hands on a didgeridoo, put it in a tree, see what happens. But no, thank you very much for the recommendation. And the next one we are acting to is Brian Blessed's Canoe. I don't know what to expect. Let's get into it. And here we go, guys. Brian, it's your turn. While searching for a mythical beast in the jungle, my boat was skippered by an orangutan. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry. Well, we've had this one before. <laughs> uh, Have we? <laughs> yes, yes. I'll make it, I'll make it easier. It was a canoe. Right. He was paddling a canoe. I wasn't okay. imagining one of those big no. cruise no, no, ships. No, not a big yeah. ship. Oh, I, was. <laughs> I, I went as a guest of the Viceroy of Malaysia, and we were there specifically to hunt uh, for the Orang Pendek, upright Sorry, man, Can I just uh, which, is, uh, which no. is a kind of yeti. <laughs> <laughs> We got into the canoe, and there's a canoe there, and this orangutan, they always love me, because I, I look like a gorilla. I got in it, and it rode, yeah, and it yes. rode, and I made noises at it. Uh, I actually get, developed uh, the noise for uh, the King of the Gungans in Star Wars. I played Boss Nass. And when the Jedi wanted me to help them, uh, they sorry, all kneeled sorry, in front of can me. I... I stepped in front of them. <laughs> 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 When I did that to the orangutan, you yeah. went... <laughs> <laughs> so, OK, so let me clarify. You're in search of a mythical beast. Yes, you here we go. In Malaysia, yeah. And you come across a river, you get into a canoe. The canoe at the oars That's of the right. canoe is already an orangutan. That's right. He starts rowing. That's you right. give directions to the orangutan uh, using noises later to be employed in a major sci-fi franchise. <laughs> How far do the orangutan take you? Oh, about 10, 15, 20 miles. Oh. You what? <laughs> you you what, me? At the, at the end of the journey, when we got off the bank, he gave me a wonderful, big, deep-throated kiss. Oh, I would like to pause the proceedings and have a word with my client. <laughs> <laughs> The, the orangutan, was he paddling with an oar? Oh, yes, he's right. Or was he yes. paddling with his large hands? Oh, no, he was paddling like an Olympic rower. Oh, no, yes. come on! <laughs> so, David, what is your team thinking about Brian's story? Guys, <laughs> what the hell did I just watch? Are you trying to tell me? I, I don't even know if I understand this correctly. So he's in search of a standing up orangutan. He steps off the boat. He comes back out of nowhere and an orangutan has appeared. He starts making some noises towards it and it starts rowing like literally like that. And you're saying the noises he made were put into Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Is that what it was? I, I there is I I guys, if this is if this is true. I, I will do something crazy at the end of this video. I don't know what yet, but um, this cannot be true. I'm saying this is a lie. Let, let, uh, let's see what it is. Kate, do you think it's well, true? I like the detail, but I'm concerned about the distance the orangutan Yeah, 20 in. miles as well. I could have believed it, but all that way... I think it would have the upper body strength, yes. but would an orangutan see the point yes. of, <laughs> of rowing strangers 20 miles? Do you know the only thing I don't buy is that? Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Well, I once heard a podcast in which someone described a chimpanzee making a gin and tonic. No way. Oh, right, right. Sorry, that does change a few things. Around. Yeah. So you're saying it's true? Yeah, look, it's yeah, true. You're, yeah, true. Yeah. Brian you're kidding me. Was that the truth or was it a lie? True. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've heard everything. I, I, I've heard everything. I cannot believe that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm getting, what? What? The, what the, <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> okay, I said I was gonna do something crazy. I don't exactly know what. You guys have to give me some recommendations in the comments. Whatever you guys want me to do, I'll do in the next video later. 
I cannot believe that. That I've, uh, that, that is the crazy story I've ever heard. <laughs> but no, sometimes you you get shocked. But no, thank you guys very much for watching. Taskmaster is going to be out later today. I'm either going to do the next video and then Taskmaster or just Taskmaster. I'm not sure yet. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.